So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the circuit board on a power pole pump with a Seamonster operating system. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn the battery switch to the off location to shut the power off to the pumps. Now that the power is off, locate the four screws on top of the pump. Loosen these four screws. I've already pre-loosened these a little bit just to save some time here. So once these four screws are loosened, you can go ahead and lift the cap up to access the ribbon wire. Just give this ribbon wire a pull and it'll come right out of the port. Go ahead and set the cap aside. Be sure not to tip it over anything to lose the four screws that are there. You'll need those later to secure the cap back to the motor housing. Lift the board up, pull your power off, your ground off, and now you have access to the three motor wires. Go ahead and remove those three motor wires from the ports, and now you can remove the circuit board. Grab your new circuit board, go ahead and hook your three wires up, the three motor wires, Notice these wires are labeled. There's corresponding letters on the circuit board. Once your three motor wires are on, go ahead and slide the board into the motor housing. Hook up your power and ground. Be sure your antenna wire, which is this little white wire, is up top. It's not down in the bottom, pinched or kinked in any way. That'll cause you to have some reception issues. If that's up top, just verify this ring. This is your O-ring, is in place. It's gonna keep the water out of the housing. Got that on place. Now you can go ahead and grab the cap. Notice on the cap, there's two different sides to this ribbon wire. The black side needs to be facing up. Insert that into the ribbon wire port. Kind of feel it click into place, let you know it's ready. Set the cap back onto the housing. Tighten your four screws down. Once your four screws are tightened down, you can go ahead and turn the power back onto the power pole pumps. You'll hear them do a couple audible beeps and the light will be flashing momentarily letting you know that the pump is ready for use. At this point, it's ready for use. You're all done.